Hello, I'm Rob with Crutchfield's commercial and pro audio teams. And today we're gonna to be talking about gain staging or how to set up your commercial audio system to get the best performance uh, out of your system. Today we're gonna to be using a uh, streaming source device, a Atlas AA50 uh, power amplifier, mixer amplifier, an AT100 um, volume control, in-wall volume control, and the Atlas SM52 as our speaker for the system. And as you can see, there's now all kinds of different places where we can set our volume. We can set it at the output of our streaming device. We can set that at the input of the mixer amp. We can set it at the output of the mixer amp. We can set it at the local volume control and we can set the tap settings on the actual speakers themselves. Every one of those settings adjusts the transmission of that input signal through the system to the output. So what we want to do first is to encourage you to read your directions that we have sent you. Um, we will tell you exactly what we recommend uh, for these settings for your speakers, the tap settings as it were. In this case, we want to go ahead and tap our speakers to their maximum tap setting of 30 watts of output, but not to the 8 ohm bypass because we're using a 70 volt system. To start setting our system up for clean gain staging, we want to start with our source device, go ahead and set our source device to its maximum output, whatever that is, whether it's uh, an iPhone, iPad, whether you're using uh, one of our Sonos Connects or a Rockbot streaming media player, whatever you've got, mood media, go ahead and set that to its maximum output to start. So before we begin showing you the proper way to set up your system, I'm gonna show you guys how people typically set the systems up incorrectly. And the result of that, we're gonna end up clipping and peaking on the amplifier, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So they may even start with, uh, say, half their volume at their source. That's a typical problem when setting your system up. And then they'll begin by going through the inputs first and trying to use the input to get volume. And they won't be getting a lot of output off the system. So they'll try and turn up, once they do that, they'll try and turn up the source. And you can see we start getting clipping at the amplifier. Part of that is because you're not thinking about the system as a uh, full uh, piece of equipment that works all together as one unit. We're sort of thinking like one piece at a time. What we want to be able to do is have our input gain all the way up to get the cleanest and, most, and strongest signal coming into our amplifier. And the output, which is regulated by the local volume control as well as the tap settings on the speaker themselves. Every setting on here adjusts three decibels of output. Every position on the AT100 reduces from a maximum output, a maximum clean output all the way up. Every position lowers that output by three decibels. So we don't want to set the initial output volume. We don't think of the output volume as coming from the amplifier itself but we want to work our way backwards from the speaker to the amplifier to give the amplifier the best chance of uh, working efficiently instead of driving a lot of power from the amp. So let's go ahead and set our local volume to three quarters of max. It gives you a little bit of headroom to be able to bump it up. We want to make sure that we've set our tap setting according to the, our instructions. And then when we play back, we want to set our maximum, our master output at three quarters of max to start. And you'll see, I think, when we play back this clip, I won't have to use nearly as much of our input gain to be able to get the same amount of volume output, and that'll help keep us from clipping and peaking on the amplifier.
very important to think of the system as working as one big unit. The volume being reduced the most actually, actually at the speaker and the local volume where the amplifier is just providing a reservoir of power out. Now if you're in a space where you have multiple speakers and maybe one side of them, they're all controlled by one single local volume control and those speakers are spread across a big room and you need it to be louder on one side of the room and a little quieter on the other side of the room. Maybe the bar is on one side and the dining area is on the other. What we might recommend is to balance the room the way you'd like it, reduce the tap setting on the speakers where you need it a little quieter instead of trying to increase the tap settings on your speakers to try and get more power out of the system. So to get a nice clean signal in our system, to recap, you want to start with a nice clean input signal coming from our source device. We want to set up our output properly by following the instructions uh, that we provide. And then we want to set the volume from the output backwards to the input. Set your local volume control to give you uh, a nice hot signal, but still have a little bit of headroom to be able to move up if you need it. Set your output of the master at your amplifier to three quarters of maximum. So again, you've got a little bit more headroom in the amp if you need it. And then that will allow you to use very uh, little input gain, reducing the chance that you will be peaking or limiting at your amplifier to give you the cleanest signal running all the way through your system. And of course, if you have any questions about that, you can always give us a call here at Crutchfield. Thanks for watching.